<laughs> Welcome back to the first episode of the 2 a.m. Nights podcast. I'm Emilio Leonos, your host and co-host and quad host. And this is James, the real host, the real producer and the real director of this whole shit. And that is uh, Leo. I just sit here. I'm and Micah. But some people call you the copster. There you go. And this is something new. We're trying something new. I wanted to do this because we're all funny people. When we aren't, you know, in the confinement of thinking of what Micah. to say. Micah. Thank you very much. When we aren't thinking of what to say and we're loose. We are funny people. <clears throat> whoa, whoa. Pause. Anyway. <laughs> A brief little intro. Um... I don't know. We're all just friends. We're all good friends. We hang out a lot. And we were like, we're pretty funny. You know what I mean? So we should just talk and let people see us talk. And if they find us funny, that's awesome. We don't really have like a niche. We don't really have a thing we're going to do for every podcast. We don't know what we're going to do for the podcast. We'll learn as we go. You know, this is a college course. This is for our college classes. Micah, what college did we go to again? I went to Southback for a little bit, but I ended up leaving. How long ago was that? <laughs> like two and a half years. Damn you, old. He's old, man. That, that, give us your age, Micah. You were born in what? 1994? 2002, April 16th. Damn. I just docks myself. <laughs> damn. Anyway. Yeah. Sound like you were saying, like, the damn, like, as in correlation to <laughs> His age. my age. What was that? What was that? That's exactly what it was. Oh. Yeah. But, <laughs> okay. you know, that's James, Emilio, Leo, and Micah. And we're all friends. And we just wanted to start this podcast, right? And that's it, man. It, I I was stuck in a perpetual loop before this. We were trying. We were rehearsing. And I was just over and over. I had said my name like three different times. Here, let's do it. Let's do a third time. Hi, I'm Emilio. And, you know, uh, let's start off with how we met each other. So, um, James, I don't even know how I met James. It was uh, lunchtime. And this little kid with this like emo ass haircut and this gr- red fucking Roadrunner hoodie just showed up out of never, nowhere. No, 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 no. Yeah, and he had never the had darkest a circles hoodie. around his eyes. Never had a Roadrunner hoodie. hoodie, bro. Never had a Roadrunner hoodie. It was a Neff red hoodie. Neff, Neff red hoodie from Tilly's. Neff red hoodie. Came out out of nowhere, and uh, yeah, that's how I met. Had him. rock teeth. Rock Looked teeth. Like his, he ate rocks. He had to get braces. He didn't get braces till probably got his haircut from fucking supercuts. I actually got it at um Great Clips. Thank you very much. <sighs> fucking supercuts. Anyway, Leo, how did we meet? Off brand supercuts. How did bro. we meet? Or how, did <laughs> Not we even like it. how did we meet? You and I. You and I, uh, middle school, but we didn't become friends till like about high school, and then like senior year, we hung out more often. So then now we're here. That's cute. The best I think of it. I think story. of it differently. I remember it differently. I remember it I differently. Won't mention um, it, but me and your mom had been in cahoots for a little bit, and um, <laughs> when you were two? she was telling me, "Huh?" When you were two years old. Yeah, I mean, what? That doesn't even make sense. Doing your man. What? <laughs> anyway, like I was saying, me and your mom had been uh, in cahoots for a little bit, and you know, uh, she told me she had this son, like you know, couple, uh, like. Wait, is this for real? Is this legit? Yeah. <laughs> you were actually with cahoots. <laughs> <laughs> I was with Cahoots. His mom's name was Cahoots. cahoots. <laughs> no, but yeah, I. I <laughs> Either what? I had to clean the time. Anyway, yeah. So uh, I think, yeah, we met in middle school sometime. We probably Hold just on. saw each other every now and then. I thought I had a sneeze go. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, hold. False anyway. alarm. False, <laughs> false alarm. <laughs> that was a. Air horn. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Oh, I'm talking over the air horn. Wait. Anyway, yeah. So that's how me and him met. That's how me, James, and Leo met. Uh, James and Leo, how did y'all meet? Uh, elementary school. Elementary school. Damn. It was the same elementary school. His mom was my teacher at some point. And so then, you were in cahoots with his mom. <laughs> you were in cahoots with his mom. That's how, no, you, no, passed, that's how you passed elementary school, right? <laughs> I remember you were telling me the other Fifth day. Fifth grade, I was failing math class until she started speaking to me in Spanish. And then, and then you 
you know what? She might watch this. So <laughs> there was one time. <laughs> Thank you for helping my but my buddy. Uh, my <laughs> brother. <laughs> my brother. Fifth grade in her class, someone dropped the whole ass desk and the laptop fell over, and she got so mad. Who was it? You and should she, ask your mom about and that. She spent like, them. Some little Mexican girl fucking just dropped the desk and the whole ass laptop just flew over. <laughs> <laughs> your mom was just disappointed. No, I said but that. yes, I met James Elementary. Just like school. she's disappointed in you. But I knew you like <laughs> what would you say? <laughs> what did you Is that say? true, Monica Diaz? Are you are you disappointed in our friend James Diaz? <laughs> your son. <laughs> was he your son? I was, was, uh, but I swear I knew you before he like, fifth like grade. this mom talk. Yeah, I did. We knew each other like before that because we would hung, hang out at lunch with like everybody. Hung it up. There was who's, one time who's we, everybody? Just say everyone's uh, name. Connor Guerrero, Brett Meraki, Zayden Becerra. Damn. Call out. But Christian Crapo. Christian Crapo. Yeah, Crapo. I met Crapo. There was one time in fifth grade though. I went to your mom's class and she, um, I, I was I was very quiet, so she didn't mark me as uh, attendance. So I was absent for the oh, day. Oh, so like every day of school? Ever? No, just one until, day. Until maybe like senior year? No, it's just like, one day. You're in my class. Oh my God. Wait a minute. Yes, Apparently I've been one in your day class in all grade, year. I was very quiet and I was absent every day. But I was there because my mom would drop me to, drop me off at school. I know I was there. Well, Your mom were... would drop you off at school? What, you were going to ride there one day or eventually? Like by yourself? I probably walked there. It's not that far from my house. I used yeah. to walk to school. I used to I walk home. To school. My mom made me walk home on my birthday one time. Yeah, my sister's what fourteen years old, and she can't be at the house by herself. That is and, crazy. And, and my like, that sounds like my sister. Mike, a six foot, six foot seven at uh, uh, seven years old, he was at home six defending six. the house <laughs> by himself. With Louis. Wait, With when Louis. did you have Louis? You Louis, Louis is not that old. Would you? Louis is like four years old. And oh, we I had him in San Clemente. Pause on that. Louis, if y'all don't know who Louis is, is uh, Micah's dog. And if editor, you want to put a picture up. Yeah, cool. It's Micah's dog. It's a little French bulldog. And Micah, let's get a quick check. How much was that dog? Around four bands. <laughs> bands? When have you ever said bands? Like, <laughs> I just thought it'd you're be putting cool. that shit on for the camera. Huh? I think it was, it'd be cool to say it was four bands. It was four bands. Like uh, Tool, Primus, um, four Depeche grand, Mode, and four K, four Wait, thousand. Wait, where did Tool and Depeche Mode and Primus come in? Bands. bands. Oh. You don't listen to them. He does not listen to those bands. Nope, so I because don't I don't look them. like James Diaz. So, like, you look like you li- listen to those bands. I don't. Like Led Zeppelin? I only listen to two Tool songs. <gasps> two Tool songs. Two Tool. Two Tool. Dune, Two Tool. I Dune, saw Dune, Two Tool. I also saw Dune, Two Tool. Did you <laughs> see? Dune, Two Tool. Two? <laughs> Did you see Dune, Two Tool? Two? Two Tool? <laughs> Let's go see Dune Two Two tonight. Anyway, two? yeah. So I, I remember. I though. remember going into middle school though. Um, this is this is how like I found, this is how I found out about Leo and uh, James is because I knew Crapo in elementary school. He had gone to the summer program at the YMCA at my elementary school, and it wasn't the same one James and Leo went to. And I remember meeting him and his sister, and they were pretty cool. They were funny. And then I got into middle school. I'm like, oh my god, Crapo's here. The guy from my elementary school thing, my YMCA. And then he was friends with Leo and James. I'm like, oh, you guys know Crapo too? I thought only I did. And I found out after that the world doesn't revolve around me. Can I get one of those? Nerds gl- Gummy Clusters, these are so good. Can they sponsor us? Sponsorship. Sponsor us. But yeah. It's about the underhand. And then... But you knew Connor before, like... Any one of us, right? Oh my god. Who me? Yeah. What do you mean? How? Who did you know first from our friend group? Or you just showed up? Like I said, you just showed up on the field one day. I had I had really bad that dark cool. circles. That means that's why he made fun of my eyes. I don't I know. I mean, why. I have like bags under my eyes. You were just too. a tired little me. little baby. I slept, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's nothing slept. too crazy. I still have bad I still have bags under my eyes. I got surgery for mine, so really? Really? Anyway. Uh, no, yeah, no, no, no. I think I met Micah um, at Regency. At Regency, yeah. You think you met him at Regency? We had time. mutual friend zone. We didn't know. Yeah, at the time we didn't know. Until so we, we work at this movie theater, right? And David, our boss, our next special guest, right? Our next guest. Um, <laughs> hopefully. David, our boss, he... Wait till Lyndon sees this. He hired me after James had started working there. Because James was like, oh, get a job at the theater. Or Will had told me. Uh, Will's another one of our friends. And he told me, yeah, get a job at our theater. We're all working here and shit. And yeah, it was. I mean, I tried getting a job. And 
they didn't respond, and I called them back because Will's like, oh, we're, we're still hiring. I'm like, okay, I'll call them back. I get put on with Roxana. Was it Daisy? No, you did not get put on with Roxana. It was... I did. I, I got trained Daisy. with Roxana. You did? Yeah. You were trained at the same time as Roxana? Dude, she quit, like, within a week. Wait, really? Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah, I know. It's kind of right. nice that we have, like, someone new. I'm not going to lie. It's been a long fucking time. Let's not say their name. I don't want to say their name, just... Well, yeah, it has been a long time, but we're also like don't have enough money to keep like hiring people. Let's mm. not talk so. bad about our company. Well, Linden saying, like, might just, see this right now. Linden, theaters uh, are in a bad state, so go to go to your mo- local movie theater. Please, please support movie theaters; they're cool. But anyway, yeah. So I got that job, and I remember seeing James. I'm like, oh my god, that's a familiar face because I hadn't seen him since middle school. Oh yeah, that was. But before this, wait, no, did I pick you? Did yes, we, you did. Okay, you, so before you, that, you just randomly were in my mom's so car. So before, um, before I had started working at the theater, I saw James again for the first time since middle school. <laughs> Him, we, it was me, one of our friend Connor, and ah, uh, fuck who was it? Nate in that car? No, was he? It was Daniel. I know Daniel was. You were in there. the car, right? Yeah, Daniel was definitely. I think there it was too. just you four because there's no way it could have been anyone me, Daniel, or Nate. Uh, Leo and was there's he? a lot of names and these people are gonna be like, who are these motherfuckers? They don't need to know all that. Anyway, well, yeah. So we were in the car guests. and with his mom because we had gone to the elementary school eventually. and we were picking up, <laughs> we were picking up James from high school, and we went to different high schools. And I remember he's like, oh Connor, oh Leo, because he was closer to them at the time. <laughs> he looks at the back of the car and he's like, Emilio. Dude, it was such a surprise. <laughs> he like, just like, what are you doing here? I was a special guest at the time. I, uh, I was a cameo appearance. It was a long time no see. Long time no see. Although you did like sometimes like text me about like music stuff before, like very like once in a while. I don't remember that. It was uh, you put me on. Uh, that's when he fell in love. No. That's when you're in a vulnerable state. Let's just say and that's when you strike. <laughs> and that's when you strike. Yeah, but uh, I mean, so the back to the original to come full circle, we had um, started working at the theater. So he started working in like what Thanksgiving time. Mm-hmm. So he started working at Thanksgiving time, James, and Leo never started working there, right, Leo? Nope. Yeah, just wanted the camera to cut to he him. Works for at like the well, Mike is talking so in the Macy's with. <laughs> Hold on, we'll get to that. We'll get to that right now. Wait, what? <laughs> we'll get to that. Hold on. Lean um, back, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So we... This is the type of thing you stand up for. <laughs> <laughs> I don't... <laughs> I don't know what you stand up for. Anyway, um, I'm not going to eat that. That just takes way too fucking long. I'm gonna... I'll eat it. Will you? Yeah. Will you? Just frisbee that shit. Will you? So, I've had 10 of these tonight. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Burke. And he was Literally. fucking trashing on me for getting the big nerd Burkle set. Nerd gummy cluster bag. Anyway. Damn, look at this chunk. That's huge, bro. Anyway, yeah, so we um I started working in December, right? At the theater. And I remember seeing James again. I'm like, oh remember that time I picked you up type shit. And we were all there, and we were just kicking it. It was like a bunch of people used to work there, man. A bunch. Shout out to the homie. Homie. Homie, homie. Anyone named homie? And David Ayala. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway. Yeah. Now there's like five people that work there. Oh, wait. No, I knew her. Mm-hmm. We're half of the fucking Regency. Right here. Right Except here. for low. Right here. If we quit, it's Except over. Except for low. And... Yeah, so I met Micah. I just remember seeing a tall black man, and I'm like, hmm, I want that guy to be my friend. Because he was Did very... Did you actually think that? No, not at all. <laughs> I actually wanted to stay away from you. Uh, anyway, so I remember seeing Micah because he was... What were you? Just You were just high seniority at the time, right? And it was very work relationship Like, we were just like... You know, we, we were both extroverts. We are both extroverts, so we were just like... We were easy to talk to one another, but we never did anything outside of work. Until one time, one of my closest friends from elementary school, we would always go to his garage, and he sends me a snap, Micah. You know this little dude? 
<laughs> you know, this little and it's rabbit? a picture of my my friends, just the back of his head. And I'm like, is that fucking insert name here? I'm like, yo, is that blah 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 blah? And Micah's all like, yeah, I know, I know, That's his, how I, sound. I know his bigger brother. I'm like, you know, Hadi. He's like, well, we call him Amir. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> is that what I sound like? We don't hear. Like it, it'll be hard for to edit because it's gonna be like, damn, these voices are so similar. Who's talking at this time? But I hope my voice sounds that cool. <laughs> yeah, and then we met the outside Cabo of work cord. for the first time. Cabo and, cords. Um, it was fun. It was a fun time. You know, we we were like not we weren't in uniform and we let loose. Pause. And and we were massaging prostates. <laughs> What's a little not gay, known, by the way? Little known factoid. It's not gay. Little that, knowing factoid. You know, doing that is actually not gay. That's a little Look factoid. at him. He's the one who's giving a factoid. A little fact. A little fact. That is not gay. Which is actually, it's inherently homophobic. To think like that. No, I don't want to talk about this. I'm going to show my parents this shit. <laughs> <laughs> but just show know. what you learned about it at college, bro. Okay. But just know that it isn't gay, though. Yeah. So my psychology, my, sexu- my psychology of the human sexuality clash, they had told us that. To think that, you know, pleasuring yourself, uh, dude. I don't want to. Nah, I'm not doing this. You can't. You went back into it. I can talk about you it. You dug in that deeper. Class too. Yeah, but you're digging deeper in something else. Too. You're not gonna have a plate at the dinner table if you say that. On my house, Lil, you always have a date at the. You always have a date at the dinner table. The plate at the dinner table. Perfectly. You always have a date at the... But, uh, yeah, that's how we met Micah, me and James. James had, I mean, how did you meet James? How did you meet Micah outside of work? Outside of work? Well, he was hanging out with you. Yeah, right? just hanging out with you and then hanging out with Micah. Or Jim. No, Actually, it was Jim. Gym, low key. It was a gym, low-key. Wasn't it Jim? It was Jim. Oh, like, my we God. Gym, we, we, and then we used to we be just started going. gym bros. They, but we were having fun. Like, before, we started hanging out outside of school work. And like I would ha- I would hope like even to this day I would hope to have a shift with like Micah or James or Leo with people I want in my job you know or like we would think Leo but he's not there right now yeah but not yet yeah I just remember it always being fun when Micah was there because he could match my energy like Aah! you know what I mean he's like, freaking out like just throw <laughs> throw a fucking cup into the trash can from all the way across the lobby out of nowhere jump geeking eight. 18 foot vertical out of nowhere. <laughs> it's the fucking balcony. You yeah, know? Yeah, he's the, got that the good uh, old times. He's got that extra ligament. Yeah, that's what they say. But no, we um I remember there was this one time we were at work and um Leo, have anything to add? Um you were talking about throwing something into a trash can. I remember about that time, me and Micah were on the team of Pong, and I was like, Micah, move, but he wouldn't move, so I'm like, eh. I just threw the ball into the cup, the final cup, and I made it in. Me and Micah were like, ah! <laughs> 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 We were fucking weak in that night. Remember that Remember that other kid that was asking me for, like, Coke? Or, like... That was a different night. That was New Year's. The one I made it in was some random... Like Coca-Cola, right? Sure. He was a really big Coca-Cola fan. He wanted like a whole liter. <laughs> yeah. A whole liter? Hey, can I get a two liter of Coke? Coca. <laughs> Don't. What? No, I, I was going to say something. But. Coca. Ina. Coca. <laughs> All the people watching this he's only speak English. So they don't know what that means. The pong, the pong was just water, by the way. Coca. You didn't have to say that, then. I, I think it you. was just water, though. Um. Anyway. Yeah, you think about that every night, huh? Sometimes. Like I was saying, so I, I remember like there was that. this one time at work, James and Micah are pressing me, and then I'm in the mop sink, literally. They're both pushing me and pushing me. They're like, dude, yeah. you should totally, this is James, dude, you should totally, like, come to the gym with us. Like, it'll be fun. And, like, his voice changes every, like, second in my head. And I'm like, no, I'm good, bro, because I was just going with my pops at the time. And they're like, and Micah just could not fathom like you could just not understand why i didn't want to go to the gym with them there was no reason you were afraid that we would judge you no there was no reason at all 
I'm allowed to have like no reason. I don't need a reason to everything. I just don't want to go with a good friend. I just I don't. don't I just didn't want to go with y'all because I, I didn't. Hang out with you. The going to the gym is a hanging out. Going oh. to the it is. Gym. It is hanging no. out. There was a time when we, me, Micah, and were you there too, though? Sometimes. With I think it was just us three. Yeah. And Emilio so happened to be there at the same time, but he's just like we were doing the same exercise and everything. And he's Leo just wasn't like, there. Leo wasn't there. Okay, yeah, so Leo it was just there. Micah and I. It was just Micah and James. And he just wouldn't join us. Because he thinks he's gonna get judged. doing legs, and just wouldn't join us. Did not want to. Like we were on leg curls, and he's on leg extensions. Like, hey guys, and just not even joining <laughs> yeah. us. Yeah, what's up, dude? I'm gonna go back and I'll work out later. I was with my dad. No, I don't think you were. This was I like, was. Was he? I, I don't know. He, you, your your dad and you were working out separately. Like you were on different machines. Doing yeah. Your own thing. I he think. I think because we wanted to. We wanted to do it faster. Mm. We wanted to do it faster. Do it fast. But like we weren't gonna do judge you. Like you like I don't fucking care. Less weight. It does the thing. It doesn't. I didn't want. It. This okay, so is maybe, so fucking let, annoying. Let's say you did have a reason. It's just weird that. Switch the like, subject. This is dumb. <laughs> this cool. is dumb. Can't handle the heat. No, I can't handle, can't the, handle heat. the heat. Get out of the fucking kitchen. I just, I just can't imagine. I, just, I can't imagine. I can't imagine watching this shit and being like, okay, now they're just talking about the gym, blah blah blah. Right, well, you've been rambling on for so long. I mean, I think. It's what do y'all have to, to say? Give Leo a go ahead. Leo. It's time to talk about mythological creatures. Fuck, I said that. No, <laughs> bring that. Bring that. That's like a. That's like our five minute mark. <laughs> fucking topic. What? Oh. Mythological creatures. Clitchers. That'll be our end topic. <laughs> yeah, okay, dude. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay, let, let's play a game. I got a game for the strip podcast. Jenga. You ready? No, no, no. No, that's strip Jenga. I got a game. You ready? <laughs> Charades. Let's play. I'll go first. No, hold on. Let's play. How long can we go silent until Leo thinks of something? Go. Like anything? Yeah. Literally anything. Well, he did say something, to be fair. So. And Micah wasn't supposed to say anything. He said something after Lel said anything. This is a dumb game. You sit there and don't talk the whole time everyone is talking. All that time to think, and you're drawing process. blanks right now. I just process what we're talking about. You know, it can be anything. It doesn't have to be on topic. Um, like I can think of something. What happened to when we were hanging out with <laughs> our friends, and you were making everyone laugh? Every single what person. You got me on the spot. It's yeah, that's true. On the spot. You're always on the when, spot. When I'm, you're an introvert. <laughs> When I'm introverts are always on the spot, right, James? I don't consider myself introverted. He's an omnivert. I wouldn't say James an introvert. I really wouldn't. He's like, like if I need to be extroverted, I'll be extroverted. Maybe you're an ambivert then. My name is. Maybe Andy. you're a pervert. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, it wasn't that funny. It wasn't that funny, bro. It's because it's towards me. <laughs> it's because it's towards me. Look, it's so you can't say it. Get the fuck out the kitchen. <laughs> what was it? Uh, uh, I, didn't like, say I can think of something. Subject, though. Hmm? I can say something. I was going to say something. No, Lil's got it. All I'm thinking about right now is um, boxing in Francis Ngannou. He got knocked out, and he got $20 million off of it. Whoa. And in the UFC, when he was champion in his main event, he got only $600,000. And how big of a difference that is. And how like the pay there is like very bad. Like, you, I think like UFC isn't as a popular sport as boxing. Isn't as yeah. popular and boxing. boxing is being supported by like Saudi Arabia, so all the like money from Saudi Arabia is like they're very fuck, they're very rich over this. They can pay a lot of oil, million. a lot of oil money. Yeah, Saudi they pay two million to a guy that got no knocked out in like the second round. <laughs> yeah, because they use his name to market. People are like, "Oh, do I want to see this heavy hitter? Yeah, go and fight." Just like the Mike Tyson Jake Paul thing. Breakfast. It's yeah, all about Mike Tyson Jake Paul are fighting on Netflix. Like it's all about. Just names. 57 years old. Yeah, like corporate building? It's like movies too. Yeah, literally. What do you mean? Like. They just use big actors' names. Because everyone's like, oh. Oh, like Fall Guy? Like Uncharted. Like Fall Guy? Mega. Like, a, like Uncharted. They chose uh, Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg, and it just wasn't a good movie. 
It's just because Have you seen it? I didn't think Uncharted was that bad. I don't like it that much. It was just it was like okay. a, it was a normal movie. It was like I, cool. Well, oh, I mean, <laughs> what's the number one movie on your uh, top ten list, Leo? I don't have a top ten list of movies. I don't have one. What is it? Ooh. I don't have one. You do have one. What I do have it? a I clip of it that I can we literally have a clip that we can pull up. Insert clip. There. Play the clip. My top, what my favorite movie is super bad because I it's an enjoyable movie for me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if he really has. Like it's a great movie. Don't get me wrong, but it's I don't just know if you really have a say. Though. Yeah, movies are very subjective though. So like music. Yeah, I mean everyone. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Unless we have a rubric you know that we're wrong. going off by. If it's just I, like, I, I, what listen, do you like? listen, everyone has a. Their, uh, ugh, I can't even speak. Yeah, Go ahead. I'm sorry. Because of the fucking gummies in your mouth, bro. Yeah, I probably should stop eating these. They're so good, though. They are very addictive. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion, unless it's wrong. Unless it's wrong. Then <laughs> they're not <laughs> entitled to their own opinion. Um, these are really good. Nerd, if you want to sponsor a man who's six foot black and a massages his prostate, <laughs> that's what? Not gonna get right a sponsor. <laughs> we should, we should, we should cut that out. <laughs> and I do not massage my prostate. Even if I did, though, it would not be gay. Little known fact. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's okay. a known that, fact. Can we stop? No, no more, no more, no more. You brought it up. Yeah, you brought it up. I know. No more. You must burn the fire you created. <laughs> you can't stand <laughs> the heat. <laughs> get the fuck out the kitchen. I will win. I will oh, what win. was that? You guys are taking out the trash today? Oh, oh my god. So, wait. <laughs> yesterday was St. Patrick's Day, right? What? I think to no. Or is it today? Well, 2 a.m. is today. We haven't fallen asleep yet. So, let's just say today. It's no, tomorrow. Saturday. So, Saturday was St. Patrick's no, Day, right? No, today, yesterday. It, Saturday. It was, it was partially St. Patrick's. Can y'all Day. just tell the fucking okay, story? So point is, it was busy downtown. So Micah and I today, um, right? Today, we had the uh, we were Yesterday. on Persian the clock. New Year. Happy New Year to all the Persians out there. What? Anyways, we're on the clock, and we had to go do a trash run because it was pretty full. So we go do a trash run, and our trash where we dumped the trash is inside like a parking structure, and then all of a sudden, they're like. This girl came up to us and was like, oh, do you guys know, like, the nearest ATM machine, right? That was, like, fairly normal. So, we're like, oh, yeah, point her in the right direction. And then there was this guy at, uh, because he had to pay for parking. So, he was in stand, fronting in stand, uh, fuck, fronting in stand, and fronting standing in, stand. in front. <laughs> <laughs> he was, he was standing stand. in front of the parking meter. And he, I, he was asking, like, Hey, you guys, come over here. And he's like signaling to Micah and I. And we're like, what? And then, um, oh no, as we're still talking to the girl who wanted to know the ATM, where the ATM machine was. So that's two some, conversations right there. Yeah. Going on. This uh, little kid that used to be. Hey, hold on. So let me break this down. Super hectic. You guys walk to the trash, the dumpster, right? Okay, yeah, we walk to the dumpster. And a girl comes up to y'all. And you guys, this isn't your job, by the way. You're just taking out fucking trash. You know what I mean? Yes. So you get stopped by a girl to to know, find out where an ATM is, and then while that's happening, guy yells at you. Yeah, guys, so trying to get right us now. like go over to him. Okay, he's like he's having trouble with the parking meter. Like he just can't pay, and he's like trying to figure out where his car is. He's asking us like, "What number am I at? Where where did I park my car?" And we're thinking, was he like, "How am I supposed to see now?" I don't know, but I don't he was, know. He, he was seemed, an old man. He's old though. I don't know. It didn't seem he, like, like was it Lyndon? No. We were like, how do we know where he parked? But anyway, like, that wasn't know? even yeah. that wasn't even like the no, that wasn't even like just the, the background. Part. That's what's going that's, on. Right yeah, now. that's okay. in the background. Okay. And I'll then be, this I'll kid I knew, this little kid I knew, he used to uh, be in my mom. He used to be in fifth grade in my mom's classroom. I don't remember how many years ago, but that's where I know him from. And it's him and his friend, and he's riding on his e-bike in the parking structure, and he's like, "Yo, James!" And his head <laughs> oh completely his head is completely turned to me. The car in front of him stops, and he just. Fucking smashes into the no back. way. Are you yes, yeah. No. So y'all got it was like good timing. It was like James, dude, <laughs> dude. <laughs> dude. All of us that are standing there just look back at it. It's like a movie, bro. Yeah, like, it was so like, they, hey, dude, do you know where the ATM is? Uh, that. That's like some shit out of Super Bad. What? I got it. Okay, anyways, <laughs> no, turn that off. I need to sell it. I, I got it. All right. <laughs> I'll cook it myself. So we we all look at him, 
And he's like, oh, shit. And I see, like, the shock in his face. So he grabs his e-bike, and they just fucking high, hightail it out of there. And, and then he fronts in Santa the... And then I fronts in Santa the fucking dumpster. And, and then that so, late... That, so that ATM girl is now left. She's yeah, gone. Yeah, she left. And the older man is still talking to us. And then the girl <laughs> who was driving Did the car the that stopped got hit. By hit. The car? I don't know. I don't even know. He was like so lasered in on. He was to, so, there was a huge line he behind was him. So the, senile. <laughs> he didn't know where he was at. There was a huge line behind him too, waiting. And so he was <laughs> all like rushing. Oh my God. I hate when I have to park there and then they're like just taking forever on that little thing. Like how They are like really annoying. They now. all get stuck with the card. They're like. The card's horrible. It's really bad. It's actually not that hard. Just click it. Boom out. No, 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 no. Like the card reader is really bad when I did pay for parking. It's easy for me, so. Maybe it's you? not. No, well, like everyone has trouble. With anyways, it. it's a bad card reader. So the lady comes out. Okay, card reader. <laughs> <laughs> the lady comes that was driving the car, and this guy, this old guy, is still trying to signal to us to like help him out with his parking. Get your hand off there. And she's like, <laughs> "Did you guys? You guys have security around here? This this little boy just fucking smashes the back of my car, and I don't know where he went. And it's like, like, lady, what are we supposed to do? And like." We look over where the Wait, security. She came up to you. Yes. She came up to the whole Oh my god! Everyone's, everyone's coming up to us because we're the only one dressed. Like we have like a like, fucking bag to bow tie fucking, on. Y'all were stuck in a, like a um. You were going on a main quest, and you guys kept getting all these fucking side quests. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> side quests, NPC pop ups, bro. And then, so did the kid get hit? Like, did the kid get hit by the car that was breaking, or did he go? No, to a he car he the hit front? the he hit the back of he it. Hit the back. They he broke was, and he. James, dude. As he's okay, so the car's, the car's going into the parking structure and he's going into it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And she stops and he's still going. Boosh, smashes. Same thing, hap- same, <laughs> same thing happened to like a kid. I remember I was waiting for uh, my dad to pick me up from high school because that was a pretty far walk. Uh, but he was. When did you get your license? When I was 17. So this was Maybe in his right 18 because COVID shut down the. <coughs> I don't remember. <coughs> Mid 17, 18, whatever. Was this in San Clemente? It was in San Clemente. I was waiting to get picked up from uh, San Clemente High in the backside, and this kid was all, Yo, Brayden. But this is in a car. <laughs> Yo, Brayden. Just huge truck in front of him just stops. Airbags <laughs> 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 go off. <laughs> it was so gnarly. I felt so bad was he for that hurt? kid. And it what? Is he hurt? Probably. Uh, I don't think so. Because okay. he wasn't he wasn't like flying. I don't he was feel going bad like for laughing, 30, man. He was going like 25, 30 miles an hour. Well, I imagine the airbags would hurt him. Cause yeah, airbags shit. do hurt. They do hurt. If you don't expect them either. Yeah, like, no, well, just in general. It's like airbag. a parachute fucking material. Have you, um, hard. have you ever felt well, it's also just the force that it comes out in like under like 0.2 seconds, I'm pretty sure, or something like that. You don't have to feel it. You can just, you know, you the math is there. Just do it. The, just the, it does not about how hard it is because it's not that hard. It's just the velocity Continue. of the bag coming out. Okay. Continue. And that was it. He just smashed in the. It was a similar situation. Yelling a friend's name and then boosh, and slamming into the back of something. And that's what happened. But I felt bad because it was almost summer, and I was like, "Bro, doesn't bro's not gonna have a car for summer? I was like that's gonna." Wouldn't suck. it be funny if we had a clip? Wait, hold on. I think I have a clip. Editor. Yo, Brayden! Yo, Brayden! Oh, shit! Clip of what? Clip of what? We're just waiting for the editor to finish. That was good. Clip of what? That was good. I'm the editor. Shut the fuck up. What the fuck am I gonna put? I'll just tell you after. Okay. Clip of what? Clip of what? Like, dude, chill, relax. <laughs> there was this one time we were at In and Out, uh, us all us for it, and I had need I needed somewhere to rest my arm, and I was sitting in the booth with uh, James, and oh, parallel to us was huh? You got something to say? Speak up. Why would there be a clip of that? <laughs> Are y'all like dumb? Like, what's going on? Am I getting fucking? Wait for you to tell the story. Am I getting pranked? Keep, talk, keep, 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 keep talking. <laughs> and we were parallel to uh, Leo and Micah, and I put my. I I needed to just rest my hand, so or my arm. So I, I'm sitting right next to. Really? No, I'm just trying to talk to you. Uh, <laughs> 
Dude. <laughs> Back to the story. Uh, was I that? was sitting right next to James, and I go, just put my arm right here. And James is sitting right next to me. That's a romantic gesture, normally. I wasn't, like, making it obvious. I just had my hand, like, all the way back to I mean, I, I know you're fetching it, but I like, I'm po- sitting there, bro. Yeah, it makes you look like you're, like, a, like a little couple. It's a, normally him. a romantic gesture. Did I bitch him? Like, like, right here is fine. No, you did not. Right here is fine. I mean, you got, <laughs> real, no you got, real, you got bitch. No, you got real defensive there. I'm just saying. I think he got bitch. No, he did not. No. And then he got bitch. No. It's okay. We all get bitch from time like, to time. Not me, oh. though. You feel like his pride was being <laughs> massaged. In that, in and out. Stop. No mm, more. No, no more. Can why are you just... bringing that up, bro? What is he bringing up? No. Do you massage your prostate? <laughs> it's not gay if you do, by the way. It's just a little known fact. Yeah, so I kept putting my arm. Known. known. Anywho. I kept. Nothing wrong being gay. I. Nothing wrong. <laughs> if you're gay, click that link in the description. <laughs> Send us some money. We love gay money. <laughs> we love gay money. We love hetero money. We love every money. Wow. Maybe not include the people. Benjamins, <laughs> Franklins, Abe's. I only them. care about presidents unless they dead. Wait. Unless unless they face. <laughs> I don't face care about presidents them. unless they dead ones. Dead president. That's a movie. What bands you listen to? I'm not putting anything. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't know if we're going to put anything. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, so I'm putting my arm around the fucking booth, and I'm not even thinking twice about it, but James is just so like, can't do anything gay because I don't make me look gay. And, you know, it's mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. it's like kind of like. Homoph- Cheaters. Phobic. It's almost weird. <laughs> right? It's like, are you. you got, I'm putting on an act, by the way. You, you got something to mind. tell us? You know what I mean? Like, if you were gay, it's okay, bro. We would still have you on the podcast. <laughs> Putting on an act, by the way. Keep that in mind. I'm drawing. Drawing what? I'm just drawing. <laughs> it's just, don't worry about it, bro. Just keep telling the story. Yeah, so like I was saying, um, yeah, I kept. I was putting my hand there. And he's like, dude, what are you doing? I'm like, bro, I just need to rest my <laughs> I hand. I thought like, it was funny dude, to do all stop. that. stop. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to put my... Uh, arm here, and he just did not like it. And the moral of the story is: we we now accepts that his hand will be there forever. It's okay now. He likes it. Fuck out the way, bro. And you're getting moral story. James got bitched, and he got bitched. Huh? James isn't gay, but it's okay to be gay. Moral of the story is: uh, James, take away. I feel to... like a masculine dude is someone who's Talking comfortable to... enough to be a little bit feminine. Yes. Because they're comfortable. Not the yes. over macho manny. I feel like a I feel like a guy who's a little too masculine not to dance. <laughs> I just don't know how to dance. Everyone says that, dude. And then they you just oh, gotta I'll move your a, feet. I'll take a class, bro. I'll take a couple clips. Don't ever in. take a dancing class. They got someone set back. I hope. He, he's gonna fucking show you up, bro. Ooh. Why would you take a dancing class? Oh, like, start break. Break. What if you started rhythm? break dancing? Then it would be worth it. You should learn how to Oh dance. my God. If I saw Leo, here's some things I want to see. Leo shirtless out of my whole time of not, of knowing him, never seen him shirtless. Um, like even when we go to a pool, he wears a black t-shirt, a, a black like pro club that gets so <laughs> fucking wet. I wonder how much like his back hurts from carrying that heavy ass cloth around his fucking body. Uh, there's nothing wrong with him wearing the t-shirt. I just think it's funny the way it, like, eats. Anyway, um, another thing I want to see is Leo on a skateboard. And in a blue shirt. Oh, three, Leo in a blue shirt. <laughs> oh, pull up a clip. Nope. Do you have a picture of him in a blue shirt? I do. Don't Ooh. put it on the screen. <laughs> put it on the screen, bro. No. With the blue raspberry with the Dodgers hat. <laughs> no. Oh, did you really? Is that the picture? Let me show you. No. No, do it later. Do it later. Yeah, I, you can do it later. Here, you guys say something. I'm gonna get my phone. Not a big deal. Well, you were saying what well, you want to see low, and so shirtless. Oh, blue uh, shirt. shirtless Wait, blue shirt. Two? Uh, it's funny because I want to see him in a shirt, but skateboard. shirtless at the same. Oh, skateboard and oh, skateboard. one more thing. There was one more fucking thing. Break dance. Oh, and break dancing. Wouldn't that be awesome? Leo comes up to the podcast and he's all break like, dancing. Just life of the party. 
That would Shirt be... off with a skateboard. Where the glued fuck? to his feet. Very, Jesus. very cool. It's been here the whole time. Let me show you this picture. Here. Um, so as he's pulling up the picture, I saw this video recently about how it was in my cl uh, class in college, how this woman is living in a town in Ohio. And it was like, it has a history of, uh, or like, yeah. So it's history is like a bunch of like African Americans were like moved to that town. And so like they come from like African descent, most of the people, but there's like a bunch of white families there who consider themselves as black. So that's not the picture. Yeah. Well, Hold on, not, put both the list real though, quick. So. What do you think of South Africans? That's funny. Like both the list or. Well, they're African, but they're not black. So hold on. Here's the, here's the question. Is there a dominant way to define ancestry? Or is it like, is it subjective or objective? Or objective. A little Extremely bit objective. objective. Like, Extremely objective. And race would like. Well, it's the thing, like nature versus nurture. Because it's like, Micah. well, yeah. like what culture were you raised by? And what culture, like, are you blood related to? You know what I mean? You could say, I, I like, you're not black. I'm, I'm black, but you're white. It's just, no. You're not a black person. You're just. You're, you're yeah, you're definitely, like, blacks. objectively, like, you don't, you're, you don't look black. You're, you don't have yeah. black skin, right? But you could say, like, I was raised by black culture. You're still a white guy. You're a white person. My bad. And it's like. That's cool. It's like, you, like. Tarzan is not a gorilla. That is He's, a crazy, crazy <laughs> comparison. Tarzan's not a gorilla. <laughs> the white man's not a gorilla. That's what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, because you're thinking about it that way. I'm just saying. Like, I'm not thinking about it anyway. I'm just very ambiguous the way you said it. <laughs> white man, not gorilla. <laughs> He's not a gorilla. He is no, not. I see where you're... Drawing the uh, conclusion, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, your feet better not be all up in that screen, by the way. Nope, yeah, but so no, that one, uh, I don't think so. You got enough wiggle room, move your feet, <laughs> put them up. It's under, under where you can't see them, dude. I just saw no, what I is this? What am I looking at? Oh, it's the pillow. No, but yeah, like Tarzan is not a gorilla because he's raised by gorillas. He's still human. So you are white. You're just raised by black people. Mm -hmm. There you go. Like think about like a Super bunch objective. of think about a bunch of like a bunch of uh, black kids that not a bunch of black kids. Um, That's such a bad and like mm. <laughs> the Tarzan thing. You just <laughs> now realizing. I, like, I already really? know, but like now that I'm really looking, like, like so yeah, gnarly. just because you're raised white, you know what I mean? Just because you are a white person, like, but you're raised black doesn't Tar make you black. Just like how Tarzan is <laughs> not a gorilla. But I see what you're saying. But, but yeah, like it's just a, like it's a known story. Like Tarzan is raised by gorillas. But that's the thing. It's like when but his ancestors kid, aren't like gorillas, though. That's like objective because ancestors is like literally like your family yeah. tree, mm -hmm. and race is more. So I'm saying it's objective. Ra Super. I feel like race is more subjective. No. Well, I race is so. a social construct, but I'm not getting into that. Well, that's a topic. Or either, the, it's, the either ra ancestry, it's either ancestry race, ethnicity. Construct, I guess, then. It's either race or ethnicity that's a social construct. David told me. He's like, you know what this, this, and this? I'm like, oh, you're right. Ethnicity. I think race, maybe. Would be I think sexuality is a social construct, too. Maybe. Like gender? I mean, everything is a social construct. If you're putting it in that, like, oh, just sex humans is made like, it up. Sex is objective. No, uh -oh. it is. Yes, it is for procreation. I learned just about genuinely it. Genuinely, it is. Learned there about it. is male at birth, female at birth, intersex. Y'all ever hear about intersex? <laughs> intersex, but that's not really considered a gender, though. It's not a. It's not a gender. You said sex. You're right. I'm sorry. There's like a. There's a diagram that's like. Gender, um, like, uh, fucking sex, and then something, something else. I don't know. Sexuality, like, because your heart, right? What gender you are, sexuality, and uh, sex. Yeah, gender, male or female, okay. and then Micah. sex would be, like, how you orientate. Bunch of men just talking about fucking genders and shit. Um... What was I going to say? That's okay. I oh, I was it. talking about the black kids. 
<laughs> oh, yeah. Where are you going with that? No, it's like I remember Miss Curry at uh, middle school. Shout out Miss Curry, though. Every time we would have a sub, she would come back and get us, give me a detention because my name would be written down. <laughs> it was bad. It was really bad. You're a bad little boy. I was. She's like, Emilio, how come your name is written down every time? I'm like, I don't know. But I was a diabolical student. <laughs> when the I sub would come. Like when, when the sub would come, fucking throw I, I was one of the kids that would like be throwing erasers and <laughs> <thing. laughs> <laughs> things. Taking my shoe off, throwing it at the back of the sub's head. I remember one time the fucking sub came in and I was like standing on a desk, like trying to flick a pencil at a projector. <laughs> and she like caught me while I was standing on the desk. It was so bad. Well, because you were kinda, standing on a desk. It's kind. It's kind of hard to miss a six foot black kid at yeah, fucking. I was six foot since birth. <laughs> How no, tall were you at middle in middle school? Were you really? I was probably like five, like five, five eight, maybe. I, don't I know. was in middle school. I was four foot nine. I'm five or five eight. Like that. You're four foot nine in middle school. Four foot nine. Yeah. Four foot nine. Sure. You're a little fucking tight, bro. Yeah, I'm fucking four foot eleven now. Grew a couple inches. <laughs> Four foot, imagine. That'd be crazy. Imagine. No, but I think. I don't need to. <laughs> Let's make it first time. What was it? But yeah, I was shorter than both of my sisters by a significant amount in middle school. So yeah, I think I was probably like five, 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 six. Go fund me. Go fund me. <laughs> no, but what I was trying to say is Miss Curry had, um, she had black uh, kids. And I remember looking at that picture. She had it on her desk. I'm like, Miss Curry, How? Oh, are you married to Steph Curry? Because her name was Miss Curry and she had black kids. That was that's a little what you kid. Said? Yep. Wow, that's actually a good joke for your a middle that schooler. Age. Yeah, yeah. I thought you know. I, I just know thought comedy when I see it. I hey, I just thought I hated. I hated it when just it. came to me. I don't know. I just, just came, came to me. me. <laughs> I just don't know. I don't know. Um, but no, she's like, yeah, I adopt, those. I adopted them obviously from like I think she said Africa or somewhere, and. It's like those kids were raised white. You know what I mean? But would they ever say they're white? No. Yeah, no. Because the, no one will think twice. No one will be like, you're not white, you're black. But a white person says, you know. Uh, I, I don't. I think it's super objective. You know it's, what I mean? I think it's just, they just, people just base it really off their ancestry. Like, like it, what I'm trying to say, it's, easy, it's easy for people to look at a black person and a black person says, oh, I'm white because I was raised by white people. They would be like, no, you're not, right? But when a white person does it, there are people that, like, how do you say, um, empathize with them. Como se dice, like, empathize with them or understand them, like, come know where they're coming from, you know? Yeah. Like, when a black person does it, whitewashed. When a white person does it, there's no blackwashed. Yeah, no, that'd be bad. Racist. Yeah. It's like, I've been it's like cultural appropriation. You have? Yeah. I don't know if it's a cultural appropriating thing, if it's like that's how you were brought up. I don't even really believe in culture. Like Eminem. Eminem, for example. Yeah, he's not black. He's white. But he grew up around like yeah, yeah. shitty neighborhood. It's just not an ancestry. Eight to mile. me, it's not about, oh, you, you, you kind of act like the people you were around. Or you kind of act like the people who raised you, oh, so then you're just whatever they are. It's just, no. What are your ancestors? Okay, they're white. Okay, you're white. But see, that's where culture comes in. Like, what culture are you from? Like, you, you can say, I'm from black culture. This is where I grew up. Yeah, you can say that, sure. But you're not black. Yeah, you're not black. At the end of the day, objectively, you're not black. Yeah, I don't care who says that. You're not Anyone a person of color. That. You're a white person. Same thing. I don't believe in culture appropriation. I don't believe in racism. So really? Like, How? Anyway. Um, Ryan Garcia. You're not going to get into it? What are your top ten movies? You I could banter there. Racism. I think ten books. Name 10 books. Name 10 books. I mean, there was this one time Leo had a hardest time naming 10 books. <laughs> don't, don't read. <laughs> oh, I know, bro. Yeah. I know, I know how to read. That's you don't I think mean. either. I feel like you've read like 11 books and now you Probably. ask everyone to name 10 books. Who, me? You don't look like a reader. I don't read. Yeah. I, I Why don't. are you judging? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Takes one to know one, buddy. <laughs> Takes one to know one. I judge her. I judge. I observe. Yeah, what is the I'm thing on Instagram? Huh? I look on Instagram. It's like I'm a fucking observer or something. Damn, these socks are already getting holes in them. <laughs> Dude, do not put that on the camera, bro. It's another socks at finish line. I buy one, get one free. So. It was a... It was oh! A, it was bogo. Let's, let's circle back. Let's circle it back. Am I covering y'all? Oh, my God. Don't do that, bro. Like, let's circle back to where Leo works. 
Oh, I don't know. Circle these are Christmas K. present. Circle K. What? what? Circle K? <laughs> what is Circle Sir, K? You work at Circle K? K? I would never work at Circle K. Yeah, Why? These, these, Why are is on, that? these socks are on Bofa. Why? Gas station? Not gas station. Station? Can, Can we get a Y from you? Why? I feel I I wouldn't Wait, want to. Wait, are you to. asking why you want a Y from you or why <laughs> to that? Why? Why? I'll tell you after him. Just why? I so just again, why do you even exist? <laughs> why? Why do you even think about existing in this garage with me right why? now? Let's talk about life. No, actually, let's talk about Foot Locker. Foot Locker. And where you work and where All right, located. back to why you wouldn't work at a Circle K. What does that even mean? I just wouldn't want to work there. I you'd be all, I'd be there all by myself most of the time probably, and end up no, talking to weirdos, like, crackheads and stuff. And then, like gas stations, mm-hmm. whatever that is called, are like more prone to getting robbed. Really? Where'd you hear that statistic? GTA. Oh, <laughs> that was that, is, that was good, Leo. Well, that's what air you want. Air horn. Air horn. Give it an air horn. Um. <laughs> I, I have a job. It's not Circle K. He does have a job. He is not. It's Seven Eleven. A full on bum. <laughs> I'm not in. Oh, it's not Seven Eleven. Um, AM AM PM? PM? <laughs> uh, I I work at the Mission Via. Oh, it's Shops and Mission Viejo in California, which is a mall. Like, just Where? say you work at the mall. I work at the mall. No, like, when do you go? <laughs> well, when you're exiting off the freeway. It's Where do you live, by the way? I live in San Juan Capistrano, California. Why? 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 Treat yourself, bro. Street. Um, the one Wait, what are you? Why are you about to give away your street, bro? Yeah, what are you doing, dude? I think Where do you work? Street. You work at the I mall. Work, I work Where at the, the mall? mall. I work at the Macy's inside the mall, the women's Macy's to be exact. But I work at the finish line inside the women's Macy's. The the finish line that used to be the woman's finish line in the woman's Macy's. At the mall, which is niche, in Mission Viejo. That's a little niche little spot you got going on. Yeah. So if you and ever want to say I'm hi to Lou. Supervisor. I recently got Employee of the Month for the month of January in 2024. And I got a $100 gift card from my... <laughs> so what if you just manager. get Employee of the Good Month job, every hey, month? Good job, bro. They, they don't allow that, I don't think. I How think. many employees are there? Out of the whole area. So like 23 stores. That sounded rude. I'm sorry. I'm Dude, out of 23 uh-huh. stores you got it? Yeah. Ooh. Just yeah, got fucking and like, <laughs> good job, bro. You stood better than the rest of us, Stan. Mm-hmm. Every store has like about six people. That's like what twenty three times six. What? Shit, I don't even know. Like one fifty. That's why you read books. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't you don't read numbers either, huh? It's about one fifty. So you read books. It's one forty eight. One thirty eight. One thirty eight. It's about one fifty. One fifty. Because some stores well, might have more than six people. If you round I'll up, it's one forty. I'd hate to be that guy. I'm sorry. But yeah, I got employed the month. Because I'm a supervisor. Well, not because I'm a supervisor, but I'm a supervisor. <laughs> Bro, just get me wrong. You round it up. 140. <laughs> you could round it up to 150 if you really want. You no, could round you, it up to you can't. Hell. No, you hell, can't. I got employed. No, you would, you would round, round it down, down to 100, 100, so don't like. You'd either be down to 100 or up to 140. Or up to 150. But no one, ever, hardly ever, anyone I'll does keep that. it at 200. Yeah. No one no goes 1.3, 1.5. You know, Might as well. A lady. Yeah, no one. So knows. most people no like ask me for a shoe like size seven or size seven and a half. So some lady asked me for a size seven thirty, because she thought like the time how it's seven thirty, and that's half of like seven to eight. You know what I mean? Like she asked me for a size seven. <laughs> that is crazy. Bro. So she thought thirty was half. Yes, she didn't know what point five was. Ooh. She thought she thought it was a seven thirty. How old is she? She about like sixty. I don't know. Oh. Like seventy. She was old as hell. Every every fucking person that goes to that Macy's old oh my god because, because <laughs> Mission Viejo has a big uh, like old people elderly like, scene yeah elder, elderly scene well that's also old. because back in the day malls were cool so they're still like stuck in the past malls well, are still adding, cool what do you mean yeah how often do you go to the mall Michael where did we get the lava lamp at just went to the mall this is from the, the mall. mall. Malls right got here. Spencer's and Hot that was topic. a fun little okay before that when was the last a, time before that when was the last time you went to the mall. I think I went with my stepbrother. This yeah. year? Yeah. Okay. Easily. I also think I think I went by by my or is this me and Gavin? Yeah, me and Gavin probably like two and a half Your, months ago. Um, partner? <laughs> ooh. Best friend. Okay. Hey, do we have like a ooh. No, we don't. We don't. <laughs> That's not it. Bro. I used to play trombone. Oh, really? 
I was, you say you were kind of good. I'm surprised right they didn't give you tuba. Oh, nice. <laughs> Stop like following me. It was only, <laughs> it was, <laughs> who was it? You and Connor. No, Connor was not. It was me, Wyatt, and hey, Alexander. I have some nerd clusters. Yeah. I think that's what his name is. Oh, God, I feel so bad messing up his oh. name. Uh, saxophone, school? you know, in uh, fifth grade. Oh. You're talking about fifth grade, right? Yeah. Yeah, fifth grade. It was only three people who played saxophone. It was me, Wyatt, and then I asked for more another. Nerd and you're like closing them. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure his name was Alexander. Pretty sure. Alex Hartman? No, not Alex Andrew? Hartman. No, Alexander. Andrew Hamilton? I'm pretty sure that's what his name is. Fuck. You can cut this out. No. Why are we cutting it out? No, I'm just kidding. Because I want to talk shit. Dude. I remember the not him. one. Shane and Sean. The the gnarliest identical twins I've ever. You like generally could not tell them apart because they would dress similarly. George and Daniel too. At Marco, George I had and Daniel. these. I had these twins George in my work and Daniel? today. Yeah, twins. No, who's the lucky lady? And, uh, what are their name? No, I don't. Oh no, Elijah and something E and E. Anyway, uh, one of them asked me for shoes, and I gave it to the wrong twin. And then the other one asked me for shoes, and I gave it to the wrong twin, and I was very confused. I didn't know who to give it to. Oh, they were that idea. Here, just yeah. take the fucking shoes. I just would have thrown I, I it at them. Up I would have shot was, them in the head. I would walk up and see both of them. I was like, fuck, who asked for the shoe? Was it Elijah? Or was it the other one? Yeah. And I got it eventually. What I were we shoes. talking about before this? Twins. Twin. No, before twins. Twin in them. My best mm. friend. The twin in them. Mythological creature. <laughs> That's what we were talking about. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hold on. I can actually, I can figure this out. What were we Malls. talking about? Malls? Well, that was like way back. We only got a couple minutes left. Myth- myth- mythological creature time. No, Baby, let's go. No, no. I'm just going to end the podcast now. You want to end it? Massage in my prostate. Did you do this for an hour? Is this for an hour? Okay. I got to go. Okay. I don't think there's anything to talk about. Anyway, this is our outro. Outro. Um, we are the 2AM Nights Podcast, and we hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, is a rocky pilot, right? There will be better. We'll, we're learning. We're getting better at this as we do. Just stick around. Sit around. Oh, stick around for the ride. You know what I mean? We will get more comfortable with it, and you'll see us. Like Right now, we're all putting on an act. You know what I mean? And he doesn't see it. By the way, corny ass fucking um, right there. But by the way, he is really buttered about just the leave fact us a that comment on the GoFundMe. Corny ass fucking statement. <laughs> leave us a comment after you donate like a dollar or fifty cents. Just or ten dollars. Leave, leave it. Leave the comment. Anyway, deuces. <laughs> deuces. deuces. Everyone leave. All right.